Yep. And stood here with Cardinus House behind me. A place where Reese Howells once stayed on his visit to Anwaf Parish. And it is, was at this place where he saw that wonderful covenant which had been signed by those of the covenanters. And they're going to read from the book Reese Howell's Intercessor by Norman Grubb and published by Lutterworth Press. It says, through the royal stewards, their divine right of kings and their laws and aims in the state church. The power of Rome overshadowed Scotland almost all of the 17th century. At the end of February 1638, the National Covenant was drawn up by spiritual leaders of the land and eagerly subscribed to by many thousands saying, in special we detest and refused the usurped authority of that Roman Antichrist upon the scriptures of God, upon the Kirk, the civil magistrate and consciousness of men, and accordingly setting forth a clear and literal reinstatement of the reformed faith as given in the Confession of Faith of 1580-1581. It was an open protest of a nation against popery and a reassertion of the scriptural views of the gospel of salvation. It solemnly pledged all who signed it to promote evangelical doctrine and discipline in all of their spiritual purity. And may God, in his mercy to this nation, bring back their discipline to promote the evangelical doctrine and for the demise of the Roman Popery of the Antichrist. O oh God, do this as thy servant before thy throne speaks with the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that he and he alone will be glorified in this, this nation of Scotland and the word of God will be proclaimed in all its fullness and all its boldness and all its authority through the name of Jesus Christ and for thy glory, O Father, and for the Holy Ghost to move again in great power upon the hearts of those who have been blinded by the popery of the Antichrist. For this is asked and it is received through the name which is above all other names, that of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Cardinal's house, where Reese Howells stayed.